Man is not doing any noise. Lucas is. His is like. Man is like. You hear that? Happy noise. Yeah. I think the air shock. Uh, um, makes the bike a little, little bit more predictable. Uh, the shaft on the shock is bigger, so the whole shock unit is stiffer. And then when you, you know, when you get, when you get the air shock out, I, I don't know, if, I, I don't know if you can see it here. Hang on, we'll do that. Hang on. You can edit this out, you know. So yeah, with the, with that shock, you've got quite a lot of movement there. You can't really see it there, but it's actually going move, moving. But you don't get with the air shock because it's got such a big, it's got a bigger shaft there. So. We don't know whether that's uh, that's the reason why he's why he's liking it more, and it's making it hold a hold a line, you know, over the off camera a bit better because it's not as not not twisting as much. Um, we don't know whether the stiff the stiffness is a good thing or a bad thing, so uh, we're just gonna see see how he goes today. Would you already agree with you on that? Okay. Yeah, we did a lot of tests uh, just before the air shocks and everything, and yeah, I think it's good if you can handle the air shock. I think it's better. But sometimes on the rough stuff, it's just rough. But yeah, we're gonna start with this and see how it goes. Cool. Yeah. And it's more progressive as well. So on a big, big hit, it's just better than the spring. Spring just gonna better out. The air shock has uh, come a long way from a couple years ago. And I think uh, it's a good product. And yeah, we're giving it a go. It's a little bit lighter and uh, Luke really- Luke seemed to really like it in Lisa when he put it on. He really liked it. He went sh he's straight to the air shock all the time now. So I think that's the way we're going to go. Yeah, really happy with it. Can we check the sag, do you think? Because maybe I've got too much. Because like, I removed the volume spacer. Volume. Do you need to do anything? No. OK. Sure. Yep. Shortly. I'm pretty sure we're down there anyway. We were. We were like that. It's always, I mean, it's not too much. That's all I mean. Should we do it like on flat? Yeah. And um, folk rebound, six and six again? Okay. Yeah? Six and six. You were not at six and six. <laughs> what was it? Six and nine or something. Five and nine. Five, five, nine. Low. Okay. Okay, and then compression on the back seems good. 15, 15. I'm not really bottoming out with that shot, with the air shot. Okay. Like even with one less spacer. Yeah. Okay. But I am with this one, like bad twice. Okay. Can we check the settings on this one and make a note? Yep. Uh, like Sonic Cruise testing kind of. Um, I've got my Lusa one, so exactly the same as Lusa, and I've got this one set up as the Sonic for another one. So I get maybe if you can set up this one to feel kind of like good for this track and I guess I can swap when I want like check the settings and then put what you think is good for here okay and how does Frank I think it wasn't that uh, hard when I tried it 525 so you, where did you try it? Some, some <laughs> but I was still bottoming out like while jumping there was one jump too flat, it was just like, you know there's that metal against metal feeling that you don't have on this one. Right down the bottom, there's like, right yeah. on the road, yeah, yeah, yeah. just it. Yeah. Uh, 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 what was the question? You need to count the thing, the setting, okay. put it down, and then put what you think. Yeah. We know what we have, and I don't really know where to go from that so it's just helping us just like oh i think that's best or not whatever so it's a pre setting from jordy and then we can at least do like maybe one run and tweak but when it uh, whenever i say it's two and i say one i go back to one i'm the best i'm not that was bad because it did not look at me so we need like to start <laughs> somewhere with no reasoning so that we can argue about it later yeah. I think that one spacer removed yes. is good because the bike is really progressive anyway. Yes. And I'm not bottoming out anyway. You know what I mean? Wait.
because I think people put airshock to get more progressivity out of it and we don't need that we just put the airshock because it feels like more supportive kind of so like when you go deep you don't need those three volume spacer I feel maybe I'm gonna put it back after the first run but right now I, at least in Saramolo I felt like I could remove another one almost and I now set this where I think. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Dad. Bye. So, you uh, have you been invaded by all three of them this week yet, or is it? Nah, been? just him. Hmm. Who's the third? Oh, Luca. Yeah, I always forget. So quiet. <laughs> He's the first. Wait, Greg started on uh, Monday though. Ah. But not. Not bad, just telling me what he's done that's so perfect while I wasn't there. Yeah. Is that like a lowest ritual coming before practice just to chat shop? He just needs a little confidence. Mm. Or Xanax. <laughs> One thing I was talking to the mechanics about, kind of, I guess, due to the test in this off season, they're all on air now. So for now yeah after the test luca liked it at Lucy. the test yeah so yeah the other two said it was shit now they're all on air and say it's the best thing ever <laughs> it's what? gonna be interesting mm. we need to take a bet as to who's gonna stick with it what? i think those air shocks just give a they give more feedback like they give a feel that the coil doesn't have. I think the coil has better tracking and small bump braking, but the, the air shock just has a certain feel that they're looking for. More predictable, maybe. Mm. And it doesn't bottom out as, as much. So basically, if you can like, if you can hang on to it, it's maybe faster. Yeah, and I think that's why Aaron's always liked it, because he's strong, and he can hang on to these things. And maybe that's what it takes sometimes. Cool. Greg's on... What, 300 PSI, which is the max. Luca's 280? I don't know what Loris is on right now. <laughs> It'll change in a half an hour, so it's not Did that. you know you could get an error reading on the pump? Yeah. I've known from screwing it on and bouncing on him, you can get him to do errors. <laughs> He's going to want a new pump now, like a signature model that goes to 350. Okay. What do you think about air on this track from what you've seen? I think it's good. It seems like it's either really small bump, like root, or just massive G-out compressions. So the air is decent at both of those. At least it can bridge the gap, whereas the coil would be really good on the small bump, but may, maybe not as good on the, on the massive hits. Whereas that, that air, you can kind of pump it up and it'll still track well with air spring. Cool. If that makes any sense. Rasta. Give me a twirl. A what? A twirl.